All right, so today I'm gonna be cleaning my dryer vent hose. So this is something that's gonna build up lint. It can even cause a fire if it's too bad. So we're gonna take a look at some tools that we have and I'll put a link in the description for the brush and drill attachments I purchased for this job. So let's take a look. Okay, so it wasn't too expensive. Um, I bought this kit that has all these sticks in it because some people's dryer vent hose really goes a long ways before it gets outside. Some even come out of the roof, which I'm thankful that mine isn't that way. Mine is very close to the outside. So you have all these sticks that you just uh, thread together. So at one end of each stick, they all have these uh, protective plastic caps on them, which is nice that they came that way. So I took these off just to show you that one end is where you put the threaded end into, and then the other end is going to have the threads sticking out. It also comes with an attachment for your drill, where you just put this part in your drill, and then the threads stick out. So you take this end and just thread it onto your drill bit that that comes with it and then it's also very important they have a big sticker on the package it says keep your drill going clockwise so the same as if you were tightening or screwing something in that's where you leave it all the time for this job so we're going to make sure that's on right and then at the other end you would either take this this brush this is what's going to do all the work for us you either thread this on to this end and it'll do the work but also if you, if you need the to get farther in you just keep adding these sticks to the end and then you just put your brush on the end so we'll be uh, seeing how that goes this will be my first time doing this job like this so we'll see how this goes and our uh, dryer has not really been moved in two and a half years and even when we bought the house two and a half years ago I don't know how clean it was just going from the wall to the outside so uh, also on the outside at the end of this project of cleaning it I'd like to replace my outdoor item uh, where, the, where, the, where it vents to the outside with this where it's got the louvered louvered exit but also a little plastic cover just to keep anything from getting in there so we're going to put that on at the end and i'll put a link to this in the description also okay so this is our dryer my wife just started a load of uh clothes so that's gonna give me an incentive to not take too long so we're gonna go ahead and pull this dryer out the fun part for me is going to be climbing back there. That's probably the hardest part of this job. So let's get started. Okay, so I've grabbed a vacuum, grabbed some screwdrivers to get the hose clamp off both ends. So the hardest part for me is going to be getting back there. So. Got a little step stool to get up there. I got another one to put on the other side. So, out of respect for myself, I won't video me getting back there. How about that? Okay, so we're able to pull the dryer all the way out. So then I don't have to get back there as difficult as I was thinking. So you want to unplug it. I got the plug hanging there so I'm gonna get back there and get started okay so my first step is just gonna be to clean up the floor I'm standing on a little bit and take the hose off of that end and that end okay so just gave it a quick vacuum when I'm done I'll probably vacuum it again and then really scrub the floor because it gets this film on it so now I found out this this uses a six millimeter nut driver. You can also use a flathead screwdriver to get these clamps off. So I'm going to do that now with the six millimeter nut driver and take off both ends. 
Okay, so we got that hose setting aside. It's got lint in it. We just kind of left it in there for now. Now we're gonna clean this out. We're just gonna start with this first, just having one stick in the drill. We're just gonna screw this on. Just wanna remind you again, keep the drill turning clockwise, like you're tightening something for this whole job, or else it could unscrew this uh, these attachments and leave them stuck in your vent. Um, if you have a long vent, you might wanna tape these sections as you keep adding them. But ours is so short, we're probably only gonna need probably two. So we're gonna see how that goes right now. We're gonna put this in there. Then we're gonna start rotating the drill. Pull it back out. Look at all that. Going again. Pull it back in. Okay. Now we're gonna add another piece on. Look at that already. Okay, so I took the one with the brush off and I added one so they just thread together and this is where if you had to go too far you probably want to tape these joints right here just but if you keep your drill turning the right way you shouldn't need it and this should be all I need is two I believe so I think we're trying to make a 90 degree turn inside the wall so this will be a little interesting to see how this goes Yeah, I think it's making a turn right now. I'm gonna bring it back. Okay, it was hanging up a little. Look at all that. So I definitely think we're making the turn and we're probably almost outside already. See how it goes. I might be outside. I'm gonna go see where we're stuck. So I'm gonna walk outside and see if we're stuck. Okay, so you can see that the brush got stuck because it had come through the hole outside and with it, it pushed a bunch of lint out. So then it's gonna be caught by the plastic flap so you have to go out and push it back in the hole so you can get your drill back. So when I pull it back in, you'll see a little pile of stuff down here. And keep in mind, this is a very short run where we only needed two sticks and it's been two and a half years. So if you have a very long run, you can imagine how much more you might have. And also if it's been more than, more than a couple of years, so, um, so that's what we got just out of that one pipe. And we're not done yet. We still have to clean the hose, that uh, the vent hose, and we're still gonna go inside the dryer and get some, so we're not done yet. Okay, so we're just gonna clean the hose inside the trash can. So I'm gonna take this hose, I'm gonna drop one end in the trash can I'm gonna put the brush in the top. We're just gonna kind of see how this works. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. Okay, I think I'm gonna put on another stick. So, thread that end in. Okay. 
Now I should have enough to come through the other side. If I had like a stainless steel flex hose or something, I might be able to reverse it, but with this cheap hose, I think I'll only be able to go forward. show the stuff coming out quite a bit so there wasn't a lot in that hose I still think it's worth doing We're doing the job anyway might as well get all we can so now I'm going to take a couple of these sticks off make it short again because all I gotta do is go into the dryer and I'm gonna just make it back down to two two sticks worth just like it is right now. That should be all I need for the dryer to go inside. The one would probably come close to doing it, but. All right. Basically we're gonna do the same thing we've been doing where we feed the, gonna feed the brush in here. So I'm just gonna do that now. I'm not gonna be able to video that. I'll video whatever pile it makes in just a minute, but I'm just gonna work that in there. I'll show you when it's done. Okay, so the pile isn't impressive, but there was a lot of dust flying out of there. So it doesn't look like a lot, but it's definitely worth it to get that cleaned out. So now all I have left is to clean up my mess on the floor, which should be no problem with that vacuum. You could even do that with a with a broom. And then I'll put the hose back on. And then I'm gonna go outside and see if I can do some work to replace my outside vent. Okay, so the hose is connected on both ends and then I spent a little time cleaning up the floor. Plugged it back in. Now I'm gonna push it back up against the wall. Then we're gonna go take a look at the outside. Okay, so we pulled this off. The thing that was on there. This is what we got out so far from before when we were doing this from the inside. Just gonna check my connections. I'll go ahead and do a little bit more. Just right here on the edge. And get some more. Not sure if I have enough to 
put screws into that brick or if I'm gonna have to do what the last people did and just use caulking to hold it there. So we'll take a look at that and get back to you. Okay, I was looking at my options. It does look like I can hit the brick on all four of these holes and I have these Tapcon concrete anchors. So you take my drill, I'll drill in into the brick and then I will put these screws in the four corners. So we'll get this on and then these tabs on the side is what holds this on afterwards. So we'll put that on at the end. So we're gonna go do that, it's raining. Okay, so we have it set in the orientation that when the vents blow out, these will blow out this way. You can kind of peek in there and see that uh, we got it just barely resting in the duct right now. So now we're going to drill our holes. Okay, so we were able to drill our four uh, screws in there and use our Tapcon brick and concrete masonry screws. So now we have a new vent and a nice cover to keep any unwanted things out. So that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope that helps. I'll put a link to the tool I use to uh, clean the vents and also this vent right here I will put in the description. Thank you for watching. Okay, so this is the old dryer vent that I took off and this is what happens when the when the brush from inside the house went outside it comes down opens that flap comes down here and then it gets stuck when you try to pull it back in the house so you gotta go outside hold this flap up and then kind of push it back in the hole now with this new kind that i put in that has the three louvers in the future i'll have to have someone outside take this uh cover off hold open the louver and watch it and tell me on the phone hey you're getting close slow down and then not not uh, or maybe i guess the brush won't hurt anything i suppose it'll just hit that and not be able to go any further and then i'll know that i can just pull it back i guess is all i have to do